Hi, I'm Walter. Welcome to Wandering Wanda. Today we're at the Ulysses S. Grant National Historical Site. I'll read first. White Haven, as his home is called, commemorates the military and political careers of our 18th president, Ulysses S. Grant, as well as the life he shared with his wife, Julia Dent Grant, from 1854 to 1859. The Dents, Grants, and an enslaved African-American workforce lived on the property. U.S. Grant only owned one slave himself, and he freed him in the 1850s. This property was owned by his father-in-law, and when he lived here, it was controlled by his father-in-law. Uh, political disagreements over slavery caused he and his wife to eventually leave. They went to Illinois. At the outbreak of the Civil War, he enlisted, re-enlisted with the Union Army, uh, eventually rising to be the general of all Union forces uh, and ultimately president. He believed in equality for all people, regardless of race or immigration status, and was more than 100 years ahead of his time. Uh, he believed that federal forces could enforce equality and actually sent them into the South to do so. Unfortunately, when he left office, things reverted to the previous way they had been, and it was more than 100 years before federal troops were then sent into the South again to enforce equality among the races. So U.S. Grant was more than 100 years ahead of his time in his thinking, and we have a lot to be thankful to him for. So it was a very enjoyable day, and I hope that if you are in the St. Louis area, you stop by and see this wonderful park. Thank you. We're gonna take a tour of the house, and we're not allowed to film, so just pictures. So we're just gonna take pictures. Evan gave us a wonderful the tour of the home. Nice. He was born Hiram Ulysses Grant in the Ohio village of Point Pleasant in 1822. The son of a tanner, oldest of six children. At 17, he left home for the U.S. Military Academy. At West Point, his name was mistakenly listed as Ulysses S. Grant, and the mistake stuck. He graduated in the middle of his class in 1843 and was assigned to Jefferson Barracks near St. Louis. This is the original barn, which now houses the museum. St. Louis or Afton, I'm not really sure what town we're in. We're gonna have lunch here at Breakfast and Burger. This is from Foursquare's app. They have a rating above, of above eight out of 10. So we're gonna give it a shot. Burgers for lunch. Regular hamburger with mushrooms and jalapeno. The fries are absolutely delicious. Home cut. And they're delicious. And Walter's having a chili chili burger. It's chili fabulous. Burger. Um, and my side salad is to die for. It's wonderful. Just hole in the wall little restaurant and enjoying every moment of it. And the burger is delicious also. Good meat. 
starts with a good meat. Okay, Walter is going to have, well actually we, we are going to have strawberry rhubarb pie. And Walter will tell you what it tastes, how it tastes. I will, as soon as I get it. Yes, How is it? It tastes delicious. This is where we're having lunch or dinner with Kleana. Right across the street from a, looks like a Catholic school church. And the entrance is in the back. Okay, here we are. That's Kleana. <laughs> soup. I don't know what kind. And they are having salad with vinaigrette dressing. <gasps> the sangria is wonderful. Look at it, it's a rainbow. <laughs> and we just added carrot cake and apple pie to the dessert selection as well. Oh, apple pie. Carrot cake, that sounds good too. And we might have to have three desserts. Okay, you heard him. He says we're gonna have three desserts. Okay, we're having salmon pasta. Kleana is having. What are you having? Pasta Okay, and Walter. Uh, like a coffee, uh, carbonara, cajun uh, carbonara. Okay. <laughs> so generous here. Walter's having cream brulee. Kleana's having chocolate cheesecake. And I'm having warm apple pie. Dinner was really good here. So, I do recommend eating here at 